Hi, it's James Sabalski for EA Sports. Welcome to game number three of what has already been a great series. Centers are lined up, official ready to drop the puck. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Nice pitch check. Adirondacks gain position along the boards. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Center in the front. Can't connect on the play. The Thunder have taken position along the wall. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. The Mariners have it from their own end. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. The Mariners will play it from the corner. The Thunder have gained possession off the wall. Picked up along the boards by Kyle. Makes the save with the glove. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still no score in this one. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Shot in front! Too many bodies in the way. Here's a short pass to... Oh, the save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Great use of the stick here at center ice. The Mariners played along the boards. Broder has been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he's out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. Out of run, that's got possession of the puck. Into the corner of the attacking area. Man's got the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Quick feed to Kamikaze. and refocus coming off that blowout loss in that playoff game. Important to really find a way to gain that confidence and composure and get a good start. Receives the pass. Maine's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it to Peterson. Here they come up along the wing. Adirondacks got control of it now from their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Shot! Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Starrett. Can't connect. Here's a shot. Big time save. Oh, my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. And these fans are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Shep. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. The Mariners get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Richie. The Mariners are on the attack. Quick pass to Eastview. Oh, a tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Adirondacks got the puck against the half wall. The Mariners will play it in their own end. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Scrum along the wall. The Mariners scoop it up along the boards. Through center along the wing. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the call. Uh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing and you wind up in the box. The Mariners get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. For the scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. Mains won it. Now they'll go on the attack. And it's a quick pass to Doherty. Denies him with the save. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Broder has got great technique and the athletic ability to backstop his team effectively. Kyle's a star who can get...
get his squad buzzing offensively. I'll be keeping tabs on these players all night long, and let's see if one of them can lead their team to victory. Guys, back to you. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. And now he moves it quickly to Doherty. Adirondack's got the puck shorthanded. Nice job to escape the zone. Through pass ahead. The Mariners played along the wing. The serenity! Oh, and they couldn't tackle it that. And they get that puck down the ice. Man advantage fails to deliver, and both teams back playing at even strength with the score still tied. The power play unit looks stifled out there, and they have to make adjustments and read off what the PK unit is doing, and there was none of that. Denied by the goaltender. Takes the hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. And he takes the pass. Here's a shot. That's one by Stark. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. In the final moments of this period, we've still got zeros on the board. And they win the draw here in their own end. Here's a short pass to Kurtler. Handles the pass into the middle of the ice. Turns it aside with the blocker by Boomer. There's another stop. Moves the puck. Battle along the wall. Toss it up in the neutral zone. Harper's going to play it against the half wall. And that pass attempt is deflected. Handles the pass. The Mariners move it in. Good heads up defense. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. So much of the goaltending position is tracking the puck and trying to get the sight lines, James. And with only one player in front, you might lose it for a second. But if you outbattle and outwill the person in front, you're going to find it. Unfortunately, this puck, it beats him clean. Maine's got to be feeling good about getting that goal here late in the first, Cheryl. Yeah, I like the energy that they created for their bench even before the goal, James. They started to pressure, and that's something that I noticed. There was a change late in the first. And that's knocked away. Adirondack's got it in the offensive zone. Maine's got the puck along the boards. Wide! Turns it aside with a the glove. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. The Mariners wanted to put a lot of pucks on net going into this one, and they have delivered on that, leading late in the first. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Drives to the sweet spot. Close save, and he made it look simple. Here in the later stages of this period, We've got a one nothing hockey game thus far. Maine's won the draw. Here's the shot. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Tries to make that cross ice speed. Across the line from center. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here he is, wrists it on net. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Takes the dish. Odd man rush. 
Nash. Puts it on that. Comes up with a monster save in front. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. The Thunder have gained control of the puck along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Adirondacks got the puck against the boards. Sterrett's going to elect to just hang on for a whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, and I like that he landed on this one. He's physically engaged and keeping himself in it. Lots of time left in this period. The Mariners have taken a 1-0 lead. Knowles won it off the faceoff. Great reach with the stick by Josephek. And he takes the feed. Maine's got the puck along the wall. Unloads a shot! Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Scores! And they strike Peter once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. they got to find a way to continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. The Mariners are showing off a not-so-subtle flex here tonight, now up by a pair in the second. Well, you know how the mindset changes and how much more confident you are when you're getting great goaltending, and that's what's happening here. And now they're getting a ton of shots on net. They're dominating in terms of that. But they're creating a lot of momentum in the offensive zone that's resulting in goals. The Thunder have the puck in the defensive zone. Takes the feed. A chance in front! And he shuts down! Attack as they gain the zone. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position, it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out battling, and out willing everyone around you. More than half the period left to play. Maine's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Smith won the draw here in the offensive zone. The Mariners gain possession along the wall. Maine's moving it into the offensive end. Reaches out and uses the stick. Slick feed. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And they come up with possession off that battle. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. The Mariners have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. Adirondacks got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Hammers it! Way too much congestion blocks that. Loose puck battle along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Drevich. The Mariners pick up steam and are on the attack. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Puck dumped in. Adirondacks got the puck. Steele's got the puck in his own zone. Sends it in on the attack. Richie's gaining momentum. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Adirondacks got a hold of the puck. Make a change, make a change. Maine's looking to break out of their own end. All alone! And that was stopped. Handles the puck. Across the line, down the left wall. Loses his balance on the play. Takes the feed. The Mariners cross the blue line and are on the attack. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And he takes the feed. Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing the momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. The goaltender, they have to have talent. They have to have mobility. They have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. More than half the period has gone by. Well, hope you're enjoying this one. Maine's got a 2 nothing lead. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. 
into the offensive zone. Horvath's got him in the defensive end. Slides the puck over. Shot attempt completely falls on that. Here's a shot. Oh, and he puts it wide of the net. Well, this is a near miss, James. You're trying to be accurate. You know how good the goaltenders are, and you just missed by a few inches. Nice zone entry from the right side. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's see the call here. You have to constantly remind yourself to move your feet and get closer to the action. You wind up reaching, you take the feet out of your opponent, and you wind up with a tripping call. The Mariners once again send out their power play unit. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Moves around along the half wall. The Thunder have gained control of the puck shorthanded. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Big play inside the defensive zone. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Quick feed to Askew. Oh, it's denied by Bruder. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time, off the crossbar, what a shot! Under all that, has been getting closer to the net and getting better looks. That one goes off the pipe. If this game is close, then get another one. They can get right back in it. The Mariners will play the puck from the back of the net. Sends it over to Kyle. Kings lines, come on! Shot! And that's deflected off someone in front. Angles it over to Steele. Adirondacks through center and now in the offensive end. The Mariners move the puck in the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Can't maintain possession. Sends it quickly to Smith. Adirondacks in transition. Sends a pass over. And that shot dies in traffic. Oh, look at this chance. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Peterson. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Noel stick handling in his own zone. Gordy's got it now deep inside his own end. And he slides it quickly to Kelmakov. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Take the shot. Quick shot. And he hangs on just as time runs out. Let's get the call. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. Unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. Play. 
still plenty of time left in this frame. The Mariners lead this one 2 zip. Maine's got a hold of the puck. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. He's got a step. and get across to make that save. Here's a chance to the middle, and that's stopped. Solid effort by the penalty-killing unit as the power play comes up empty. You know how you change an average PK? You kill the next one, and they did a good job there of getting in shot lanes and getting it 200 feet down the ice. Slides it on over to Sheehy. Maine's got it in their own zone. Look out, here they come on the attack. Quick stop. taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. The Mariners have extended the lead to three here early in this third period. Cheryl, I'll bring it back to wrestling for a second. That feels like a power bomb at the other end. Uh, it's a power bomb, all right. And the opponent, they don't know what to do with it, James, because guess what? Just starting the third period, they thought they'd have some life. They're getting the same pep talk in intermission. Come on, we can get back in this game. Now they're scored against another time, and now they're completely deflated. Gordy's moving the puck through his own zone. The Mariners get a hold of it. From the point, looks to make something happen. Centering pass! And Michael, oh, he stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Poked off the puck. A chance! Too much congestion blocks the shot. Gordy's taking it from his own end. Takes the pass. Maine's got it along the wall. Good hit on the play. Adirondack's got a hold of the puck now. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Oh, and he steps into the line of fire and blocks that. Smith, the victim of a slash, and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. The Mariners are getting penalized for slashing. here on the man advantage the power play creates so much energy and when it's just average you can feel a bit deflated everyone expects a power play to score all the time guess what it doesn't and they'll get it out of the defensive end moves inside great save from in tight and this is a dialed in goaltender very aware knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save nice solid entry from the left here's a chance and that's blocked. Great four check by Harper. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. With possession along the wall. Great four check on the reach. Answered the call there. Starrett's done a good job making that save, especially because it's been a quiet night for him. It's been an offensive explosion in the other end. But when you're faced with a save, you have to make it. You don't want to open the door for your opponent. Moves it quickly over to Vandalise. Big save. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay at ringside. Kyle's been exciting again tonight, guys. He gets in on the box score, and you can bet he'll feel satisfied with his contributions. Hammers it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice zone entry. To disrupt the play. Oh, I'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Adirondack's got it from behind the net. Quick pass to Harper. Picks up the puck. Chance in front. Big time stop. Starrett's been outstanding, tracking pucks and making huge saves like that one right there, right from the slot. 
if you can put a couple of these shifts together, you have your opponent on their heels, but you have to find a way to convert and drive the net. The Mariners don't want to take their foot off the gas here in the third period, but they have a lot of padding with the lead that they've built. Mains won the draw. The Thunder have possession along the boards. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Starrett. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Adirondack's got the puck in the corner. Receives the pass. And he gets in the lane to block that. Maine's defended extremely well throughout this game, whether it's the neutral zone or into their own zone as well. They pushed everything to the perimeter, a reason why the goaltender is staring down a shutout right now. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. Here's a shot. And he stakes that one with the glove. The Mariners wanted to focus on putting more pucks on net going into tonight's game. They have done just that and then some here in the third. Lowell's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Great pass from the left wing. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. He scores! Four straight goals are rolling now! And talk about confidence, hey, James? I mean, their opponent does not have an answer. They look out. Absolutely stunned. I mean, they are like a freight train just pounding down on them. Maine's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. Late goings of this period. The Mariners have a four-goal lead. Lowell's won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. Adirondack's got control of the puck. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Now a quick pass to Richie. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Well, the penalty has been called, James, and it's not really going to factor in the outcome. This game is already over. Maine's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They can't get frustrated, but they have to look for the weak side for that one-timer. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Here's a pass in front, and that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Referee singles penalty coming up here with a delayed call, and the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Whistle blown, stopping the play. The Mariners have been handed two for interference. Things should open up here with a little four-on-four on, four on the ice. Four-on-four four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Sterrett's got it, and I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Well, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, and an even bigger save on the slapper. The Mariners have pummeled their opponents tonight. They have been the busier team offensively and have converted numerous times here in this third period. Grabbed along the board by Wheeler. And he takes the pass. Scores! And that's his first career play. Tonight. 
point. Well, he's had an incredible game and just made so many beautiful saves. Uh, I'd be angry at the structure here as they've given up some opportunities late and the shutout is lost. The Thunder haven't looked very good at all tonight, but here we go with something in the third. You know the staff is going to be proud that they fought right to the end here, but they'll look to utilize their bench knowing that this game is out of reach. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. This penalty is a frustration call. You're down by a few and end of the game and you take one. That's all it is. Thanks so much for joining us here this evening. The playoffs roll on, and we will see you then next time.